What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Legacy Cube Durft. Every time I jump in the queue, it always fires immediately, which is so nice. Michael is a little, a little Mitch. Did you get your glasses confused? Yeah. Typical. I was real confused, confuzzled. Oh, Biovisionary with the 18 months in a row. That's a good amount of months. I run into a tournament, would you sign my Eldrazi temples? Yes, I definitely would, for sure. I will also sign your gut shots if you, uh, if you'd like. All right, let's try to draft the most broken deck we can. How about that? Isn't that what we always do? No, sometimes I mess around and have fun. I feel like this is a good start. This is also a good start. Thank you. I think Kajiki comes is the better start. CTB, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome back, buddy. Really appreciate it. Nothing clever to say. Just enjoy the content and sweet emotes. Plus, if we table the Bane Slayer Angel. Oh, wait, that's a Bane Slayer Angel. Never mind. I thought it was the other angel. You look so weird, man. Do I? Yes. Yes, you do. So is, it's not... You think it's Kikijiki or Emrakul? Emrakul's... I think it's Emrakul. Emrakul feels more broken. Yeah, but it's harder to get into play. Like, there's like through the reach... Kikums McJikums is the creature we seekums. <laughs> there's like through the breach and bust. And sneak attack. Okay, that's two. And tooth and nail. That's true. And... Plus, like, triple red, man. It's hard to cast. Not if we're blue-red. No, we ain't. We took this. We took this, fat idiot. You're, you're a fat idiot. See, if we had taken God. the kiki Jeekums, now we could take repeal. What does that do? We could still take repeal, you stupid Mitch. I like Elspeth here because you can actually give your miracle plus three plus three. Oh yeah, that's definitely yeah. Mm -hmm. Is channel in the cube? I don't know if channel is in the cube. I have yet to see a channel in no, this cube. No, I don't cube. think so. Triple red man. That's <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. I don't know why that was so funny. Shot in the forgotten ways is weird. I don't know what the pick is here, man. I'm going to be honest with you. Take a lantern. Keep us open. Oh, I like lantern, actually. That's a good call. Not to be a butt, but I find twin decks pretty boring to watch. Um, Not going to disagree with you. I kind of like fractured identity here. It's just a really good way to deal with a card. Yeah, it puts us in two colors. Not to be a twin, but I find butt decks pretty boring to watch. Is that true? What about butt buddy decks? It puts us in two colors? Sure, Michael. Sure. <laughs> like, if we're going to play Emrakul, I think we're going to green. So I like kind of like, like taking... Why? Because you want to cast it, don't you? Can you blood rate into Emrakul? I don't think so, but maybe. We do have a, we do have Chromatic Lantern. We are every color. I also like Sun Titan here. I don't. Okay. I'm going to take the identity then because you're a big idiot. Got it. I would just take the, the triple green Groog. Really? Mm-hmm. All right. I'm going to give that one to you. I don't like it, but I'm going to give it to you. I like Stoneforge, and I also like Gilded Lotus here. I say go big. With Gildy Boy? Yeah. I can see it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to go big. I like a Vivian Reed. And an Arbor Elf. Ballista's pretty good, too. Ballista is poop, Michael. Your poop. Your poop. Got him. Who did you get? You. Is it Vivian or is it Arbor Elf? I think it's Vivian. I would take Elf. You can get so many more Elves, though, is the thing. Can you? Yes. Don't ask it harmonize? again. Yeah, definitely harmonize. Yeah, 
Wow, this this chat really got twin butt uh, centric. Look, man, they're in the make stage. They're making it right now. I'm watching my pizza get made. Sacred Triangle, or do we just take Crucible and try to live the Crucible wasteland dream if we if we get it? I kind of like that better. It's so far fetched, though. It's not really though. Yeah, it is. It's not. You can say it like that all you want, but are there fetch lands in this cube? Yeah, there's yeah, fetch there lands. Are. I'm gonna take this. I like Wickaba. Wickaba. You take the Wickaba. Yeah, it seems fine. Probably better than Genesis waving for 18 and hoping to hit Emrakul. <laughs> yeah. And technically, be Genesis waving for 15. It's just the cast 18 to play. <laughs> so, that's a good point. I haven't had apple juice in so long, but I've been drinking apple juice because I'm getting over the sickness yesterday and today. And apple boy, juice is motherfucking delicious. Oh my god. <laughs> it is, though. He's right. It's true. It's very drinkable, too. I, I would hope most juices are drinkable. I think it's is it Cultivator or Jade Light Ranger. It's got to be Jade Light, right? Yeah, but like I could sip on apple juice all day. I couldn't sip on orange juice all day, you know what I mean? Sipping on apple juice. <laughs> laid back. <laughs> it's pretty good. I guess we take that. That makes our Amical cost two less. It's true. it's true. Also, if you ever get to activate his ability, you probably win. That's true. Hmm. I think Bloodbird Elf is actually pretty good here. I think Elder sucks. I actually don't like Elder. I feel like the, the mana is too much that you're investing into that stupid idiot. No wrong tracker, man. <laughs> I checked a, a UPS a U, UPS delivery screen, and it was the wrong tracking because we're trying to look at the pizza. Apple juice is gas. Actually, apple juice is liquid. <laughs> Grandpa lands is pretty lame. <laughs> Oh, I don't hate Wall of Blossoms. I also don't hate... No, I hate Marshall Coup. I don't want... Actually, Tectonic Edge could be pretty good with the, with the Crucible Worlds. Oh, boy. It's like a bad wasteland. But it is a wasteland. Your pizza's in Boise? What does that mean? Oh, look, the Walking Ballista came back. It's good mana dump. It's throwing Wildwood. That's all right. Your mother's a good mana dump. Yeah, that's playable. That is playable. Ancient Tom Bay. I think that's the pick. That's like there's nothing else in this pack for us. Explore. You can go green white and play Elspeth. Yeah, I don't think that's better than just staying non green. Or Ancient, not, or just... Ancient Team is very good too. It's worth it. Swerth. Swerth. Oh, I see what you did there. <laughs> oh, my uh, my pizza just left a uh, shipping facility in Boise. Wow. Man, they're really committed to getting it to us here. Green Sun Zernith. Master of the Wild Hunt. Let's take Master. I do like Master. Master! Where's all our Rampy boys, though? I don't know. Or our Cheaty boys. Where's our Cheaty and our Rampy boys? You want Rubon Craig? Or we want to buy Jenna Coos? Probably Craig. You ain't got a lot, Craig. Utopia Sprawl could be pretty good here. It's Ramp. And it's just like, it's basically just an elf, but with Garrick or Arbor Elf, which we already passed, unfortunately. Course of Portal, also very good. The dream is not dead. Our dream is still very, very much alive. We're going to Blood Braid Elf into Walking Bliss, and it's going to be real feel bads. <laughs> that is an option.
You're an option. Am I? No. Get wrecked. It's getting a little juicy in here. Juicy? Yeah. What does that mean? Hot. It's getting juicy in here? Mm hmm. You want this fan? Yeah, help a little bit. Touch switch. <laughs> Do it. Do it now. Lowest cover? Sure. This is our first two drop. That's really kind of weird. Ideally, we get to go turn one sprawl, turn two chromatic lantern, turn three one of these guys. That's that's the that's the dream. Yeah, Michael, take off all your clothes. No, thank you. Michael. Mm-hmm. Quit playing around. Boom, 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 boom. Are you two brothers? No. Show us your body tats. Hey, man, let me see them prison tats you got. Never. You Mike. have to earn them. Stomping ground it is, I guess. Sure. Oh, other Emrakul. Those are Konama's reach, though. Who cares about that? Tramp. Is it, though? Yes. I don't know, man. It's literally ramp. I'm not so sure. It's definitely ramp. But then Emrakul. We already have an Emrakul. Why don't? You, why is it? What's? Why is Emrakul's never enough for you? Emrakul. Did you get a little? Did you get a tap for little Boofy? Yeah. Does it say free little Boofy? Yeah. And it's got his hands on the bars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's nice, man. It's a chess piece. It's right here. It's, it's huge. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, a Taiga? They're just giving us all the red green lands. But there's a rampant crow. Michael, I'm, I'm under the assumption that we're going to want... We have one red card. Right, but we're trying to pick up Sneak Attack. Not Sneak Attack. Yeah, Sneak Attack and Through the Breach. Right, but Rampant Growth accomplishes the same thing and also makes our deck way better. Way better? Yeah. Actually, Mirari's Way could be sick here. That's actually a good point. That also a way to cast Emrakul. But we don't have any white fixing. We have Kodama's Reach. We have all. Th we th do I have to make the same argument that I made yes, last time? You do. Why did you take that? Because I didn't know what to take, so I, oh, I defaulted to the card that I was one hundred percent sure about. Okay. You. Mindslaver is pretty good. Actually, it's pretty good. Mindslaver is a card that just wins games out of nowhere. Pizza Tracker. Oh, you're right. They're reviewing it. You better go all get right, it. I'm gonna go get it. All right, man. I'll see you in a minute. Oh, the oh, show and tell. Fascinating. I actually don't have respect for Canopy. Oh, Coercive Portal came back? Oh, that's a wonderful.
Yeah, I knew what you were getting at. I knew it was show and tell. Or you took me sprawling to show and tell. I, I got it. I've just been burned too many times with the... Uh, man, this guy's actually fine. It's reason I only heard of the card of the X with... That's an, this card is actually really good, right? That's actually playable. All right. Oh, Kazi? Jite? Findhorn LV boys? Oh, through the breach. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Kazi? No, it's not Kazi. Kazi's out now. It's either through the breach or Jite. I think it's through the breach, right? Especially if we can get Woodfall Primus, which is just nuts. Yeah, Through the Breach is what we were, like, literally trying to... Oh, Tooth and Nail. Tooth and Nail into Through the Breach, boys! Whatever that means. Oh, we did it, boys. We did it. I want to take out this Shaman of the Forgotten Ways because we're not really casting any creatures off of it. I'm also going to take out Walking Ballista because it's very it's just very bad with Bloodbraid Elf. I'm letting Mike know the picks. Um, Basalt Monolith is a thing. Live the Repsis to six. Awakening Zone, also a pretty cool thing. It's either this or this, I think. Oh, Immortal Sun. Eh, I don't like Immortal Sun when we have multiple Planeswalkers, I think. Huntmaster is just good, though. We can also just take like lava coil and just have a reasonable piece of removal. I don't think we need Brontodon and Wicker Bow Elder, so I'm gonna actually cut this guy. Mm, tireless Tracker is nice. Oh, I like this Nissa. All right, well. We're going to make some cuts here again. Ah, uh, Devoted Druid is actually great. Seems fine. Okay, so what cuts are we making here? Garrick is also good with Utopia Sprawl. Okay, well. Probably Huntmaster in the side. Probably Biogenic Ooze in the side, I guess. Uh, I don't want to cut Lantern just because it is ramp. Kaze seems good. So does Finhorn Elves. I think it might actually be Kaze like here.
So we still need one cut here. I like Master because it's very good at removing problematic creatures. Like, if they try to kiki jiki us, we can kill their guy. Like, it does a lot of things very well. This is also pretty nuts. Um, Incubation Druid is great. Xenagos, also pretty good. I can see playing Xenagos over the Lantern. And Elves of Deep Shadow, sure. Oh, I like that the Lava Coil came back. Eh, Bailoth is fine. Alright, so I think this is the deck we need one more cut, though. See, okay, okay, it seems fine. Like, you attack for five, and then for X mana, you can just each non-land permanent with converted mana cost X or X whose controller was dealt damage this turn. So, if you attack into them and they have a Banishing Light out, you can pay three and destroy all of their three, three mana permanents. Like, it's actually pretty good. I can see putting Elder in the board. We already have Vivian Reed. Yeah, this deck seems sweet. Uh, I think we can go... We don't have Rafelos or anything, so we can easily go 212. We can also play one less land. And just play like a Chorus of Portal or something. Michael has returned. Yeah, five mana Garrick being able to plus and be able to draw cards is pretty insane. I waited for you to get back before I submitted. Why? So I could show you the deck. Okay. You got a little cause of week? Mm-hmm. Seems these. We shall see. I'm tempted to go down to 16 lands, but might be a 17. How much ramp do we have? Uh, these things. It's a good amount, but it all does other stuff too, so I think we'll be fine. Because I think we want to hit land drops pretty hard. I got some grease on my seat. Really? Yeah. Was it leaking? There was just a little on the end on the on the edge of the pizza box. Oh no. No <laughs> God, why? You guys wanna oh. try these? Got some blue cheese, frosted blue cheese pop tarts. Pretty good. Pretty, 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 pretty good. Just no. Just say no. Oh, this is a keeper. This is a turn two tracker, turn three Garrick. Shut up and take my money. No. But yes, I will. In 10 minutes, consider this my birthday gift to you. Thanos, thank you so much, dude. You are insane. Thanos, is it your birthday in 10 minutes? Oh, 
Oh my God, guys, Taunus' birthday is in 10 minutes. Well, at my time anyway. I think Taunus is on the West Coast. So it's actually quite a bit. Um, I, it, missed, I missed the donation. What was it? Uh, 340. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> not, not, a, not a reasonable <laughs> amount by any stretch by any of You mean $3.40? Yes, three dollars and forty cents. I don't think Thomas actually knows what three dollars and forty cents looks like, to be quite honest. Thomas, thank you so much, dude. Also, um, this is now a happy birthday, a Thomas birthday stream. So now it's Thomas's birthday, guys. This is also the first time I've been on stream where it was actually my birthday recently. Don't lie. You ain't got to lie, Mike. I'm going to guess Thomas is going to be 33. That's my guess. Really? They always have it, don't they? <laughs> Thomas, this is for you, buddy. This is the uh, the Tano's dedication uh, through the breach for you. Oh, I just would have made a beast. Really, I want to harmonize. Just get it. Just get it over with in two turns. Oh, I forgot there were five. Yeah. <laughs> you're right. That's all you need to see, I guess. Wow. See, this is, what, this is why we take Emrakul first, man. Okay, so we're definitely bringing Huntmaster because they're the aggressive red deck. Bring in Lava Coil. Um, take out... Probably take out Vivian Reed. She seems a little slow. We can bring in Star of Extinction. <laughs> mm, I'm not so sure. Thrashing Brontodon is nice. Assault Monolith seems a little bit slow. Mind Slaver, I don't think we care about. Ooze seems good, though. Oh, man. There's nothing like... There's nothing like just through the breaching an Emrakul, man. Did you know that Emrakul actually deals damage addition to make it? I actually had no idea. I was like, oh, wow, that's powerful. Look, we're halfway there. Living on a prayer, Michael. Right. Are we living on a prayer? Yes. Take my hand. We'll make it, I swear. Biogenic ooze is pretty lit, by the way. I agree with you. Oh, that's lit as well. One, two, three. If we hit another land, we could actually play Garrick. It plus it. Hoped it survives. Oh, well, that's sad. Uh, this is the Mirage version of Ripping Growth. Tonos, thank you so much for the donation, man. Really appreciate it. You are extremely generous and uh, undeservedly so. Hey, man. Yeah, man. You want to go to that festival with Jawbreaker in it in Florida and Gainesville? I was thinking about it. It's close Should enough. Just go the third day? I would. It's close. It is like a two-hour drive. Hey, Gainesville's really not that bad. No, Gainesville's real close. Taunus is always throwing away money, but it's it's throwing away money in the sense that he supports people that he uh, wants, to, <laughs> wants to support. Plus, like, I feel like if I don't go see Jawbreaker, then I'll never get a chance to see them. You might... You might not, because you suck. Well, I imagine they're not doing too many tours after this. You don't know what they're doing. You're right, I don't. You're not their dad. I'm not their dad. That's true. 
Actually, there's been talks of them uh, making new new content, new music. So. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Jawbreaker was great. They've they've been great the two times I've seen them. So. Uh, this guy, huh? What do you have exiled with this? Just a grave crawler. But I'm also at eleven. I'll just block. Living on Mike's hair. Take Mike's hair. I'll make it, I swear. Emerical one time. That's not an Emerical. You might say it's not even close to an Emerical. You would be correct. I have not seen many fetch lands in this queue. I, I don't know if there are fetch lands in this queue. I think it's actually a farce. You come to think of it, I haven't seen any fetch lands. Did they cut them? That's weird. No, because I know someone cracked one against us. You sure? Yes. You got it. Oh, a stoke the flames, huh? That's pretty good. So they attack for four, they stoke us for four, and then we're probably dead at that point. Megan, I swear. Emrakul off the top doesn't actually do anything, unfortunately, because they can still, like, sack four, five, six. They can just sack all of this. And then they still have Thunderbreak Regent. And if they put us, if they do this now, which they probably should. They're at 20. There's no reason not to kill this guy. There's no reason to kill this guy, is what I meant to say. Yeah, but they're never getting... Gar Gargadon's never coming off because they can't sacrifice things to both. I guess they can sack their whole board to the Gargadon. Yep. I think we're dead here. Yeah, we did. That's a yikes for me, dog. But nice to know you have that guy. Okay. Brain Maggot, Grave Crawl, a bunch of one toughness creatures. I wish we had like an Arc Trail. I can see Walking Blista being good here, but. It's probably better than Steel Hill Kite. You think so? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just still worried about the Bloodbraid Elf, but... Yeah, we'll keep this. Druid seems good. We're on the play. What can go wrong? Only everything. 
I mean, if we hit Emrakul, this is a turn. Or if we hit, yeah, if we hit Emrakul, it's a turn three through the breach. If we don't hit a second green source, then this is pretty rough here. That's actually great. I don't care about that at all. Give me a land. And Emrakul one time. <laughs> yeah! Oh, Lord. That's ridiculous. These have been very fair games we've played. False. <laughs> False. Come on, we predicted it. We were like, let's have the Emrakul right off the top. It was Thomas's birthday. And uh, everybody, wish, everybody wish Thomas a happy East Coast birthday, guys. It is 12.01 p.m. It is now Thomas's birthday on the East Coast. And, uh, man. And you can beat the mono red deck. You got a pretty solid deck. Especially when you beat them with an Emrakul on turn three. That, my friends, is the power of LASIK. <laughs> he could see the future. Michael could see the future. Don't you mean Michael? I did mean Michael. I'm sorry. This hand seems bad. It's real slow. Do you mulligan it? Yes. This it actually better. seems better, even though it doesn't do anything else. Okay, we'll just get the 15 mana and cast Emrakul. I'll already do that. That's cool, too. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Me no likey. Me no likey. Me no likey at all, dude. We beat the Realm on a red deck. Now we gotta beat the, in the Entomb deck. Your mother's an Entomb deck. Is she? I heard that she was. You heard wrong, Buster Brown. I'm not. My name isn't Buster Brown. Oh, it's I'm sorry. I thought it was. It's Jimothy Schmidt. Jimothy Schmidt. What do you get? Doom Whisper? That's not really that that scary. That's like the least scary thing you could get. And yeah, they didn't. Hmm. I don't know what's going on, man. Is it Mike's birthday? Every day is Mike's birthday. It was my actual birthday. Oh, what do you get? What are you April first. Just kidding. Ha ha ha. My birthday's April first. April Fools. Yeah, nope. Not one. a joke. Actually, not a joke. Good one, buddy. Okay, you win Gone Exhum. All right. Can we, do we have any way to put this in the graveyard? Oh. Yeah, that works too. Oh. Oh, we can't do it yet though. No, we have to wait till next turn. That's fine, I think. Yeah, this will be perfect. He'll have exactly one more permanent for us to blow up. No, this is four though. He's not six. So they would just sack everything but the Doom Whisper, I guess? Sure. Or we can just play this next turn and then also just cast this guy. Because we're not really under any... We're not really under immense pressure here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. We can play it next turn. Yeah, okay. Seems good. We could also end of turn through the breach, Kozilek. I don't know why we do that when we could just hard cast it. I don't know either. Well, because you get the haste. Don't think that's worth it. Well, we're taking seven and six, right? So it's 13. Like, we're taking other six. We're going to six life. Yeah, this is a lot of damage. Emrakul one time. That time it didn't work. Well, we're about to draw four cards, so hopefully we'll draw it. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to have to use this. We did not, but we have Vivian Reed, which is pretty sick. I 
I mean, as long as we don't die here. Six, seven, eight, nine. We go to three. Well, we do get to block one. Well, if they kill it, we don't. This guy doesn't have indestructible, unfortunately. That's true. <laughs> Typical. Yep, that was my concern. That's why I wanted to through the breach. But again, like, if, as long as they have mana up, it's not really going to do anything differently, so. Hmm. Yeah, we did. I guess we could draw some cards. Not sure what it's gonna do. Yeah, if we Amrical, they just sack like all their lands. Yeah, and like the one one. Yep. And we're just like a turn too slow. I don't think we have any graveyard hate. We do not. I think our deck is fine. I think we're just a little too slow there. Or another of our hands weren't that great. How much this is gonna run? A dollar. A dollar. One schnickel. Keep. One of these days you got gonna draft there. Is there is progenitus in this cube? I hear tippy taps. <laughs> oh man. I'm just gonna add green here. Okay. We're looking good here. When one, two, three, four, five, six. This is eight mana next turn. In two turns we can just tooth and nail. For an Emerical and Kozilek. Seems good. I agree with you. Don't even care about that right now, I'll be honest with you. Oh. Oh, that's a thing, isn't it? Hmm. Well, I don't want to tap Robo Salt Bond with. Oh, so we can just play this instead. Yes. I will untap one forest, my good man. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We have twelve mana next turn. As long as they don't counter it. Seems good. Yeah, scratch that beard. Scratch it. I am. Get those beard spiders. Someone's got to. Maybe it'll be your mom next time. Maybe it will. <laughs> oh, they just made a pack rat. How fascinating. You don't say. I do say. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're gonna have to play this first. So this goes to six. And I'd rather use this than take damage here. I'm toothing and nailing. Give them two beefy boys. Is there a better card than Let's get the two fatties.
Emrakul is definitely one of them. But I, like, so here's the thing: if they have removal for Kozilek, it doesn't matter, right? Because we're already getting, we still have Emrakul, and they don't even have six permanents. They have none, right? So like, I'd rather almost get like something that's better on the board. Like what? Like a Jade Light Ranger, which might draw some cards. A Master of the Wild Hunt, which threatens to kill things. They'll always out pack rat us by the wolf boys. Like, well, then we just play Steel Hellkite then, and then we get to kill the pack rats. Word two thing and nailing. Scratch that beard. <laughs> Scratch it. I am. Get those beard spiders. Someone's got to. Maybe it'll be your mom next time. Maybe it will. <laughs> Maybe it will. <laughs> oh, they didn't attack. Hmm. Gee, I wonder why. Oh, that's pretty good. One, two, three... Yeah, that's pretty nuts. Okay, they can't... I don't know what they can do against this. I don't think there's any speed answers they could have. That are colorless, yeah. I have the Annihilator trigger covered. Okay, well that's good. I keep on pack rat. He's also just dead to 21 <laughs> power. <laughs> oh. No, it's only 5-5 five, five, though. It's only 20 exactly. Oh, 20 power, okay. I guess we could pump it, but... Oh, we did it. That's the old... This is what's known as the old Xaxes. It's a hole-in-one. <laughs> that is a hole-in-one. Is this... Is this... Are we up around... What round is this? I think we're crushing. I think this is... Never mind. This is round two. I thought it was round three. Well, you're a dummy. Takes one to know one. Does it take one to know one? Yeah. It takes one to know one. Exactly. Michael, listen to me. Okay. They'll always out pack rat us by the wolf boys. Like, Well, then we just play Steel Hellkite then. I don't like this hand. Neither do I. But please, no. You know what you did. You know what you did. You don't like this hand either, right? No, I don't like it's it. It's terrible, right? This is much better. It's not great. It's fine. It's not great. Though. Oh, they went to five. That's good enough to pack out turn two. It's true. Now, do we wait to play tracker to try to get value? Uh, no. I just play on turn on turn three, because we have other things to do on turn four. And plus, if we get to go reach on turn four, then we get to put two lands on a play. So that's pretty cool. Or we mm -hmm. can reach now, then play Lotus next turn, and then play tracker off that. We lose some value, but we get to. I think our. I think that's probably better for our rampage. Rampage. I like rampage. I like rampage dressing on my rampage salad. What's a rampage salad? You know. I don't. I have literally no idea what you're saying. He's dead. He never stood a chance. Four or five. I mean, we have eight mana. I don't really mind that getting killed that much. No, no one cares about that. Good morning, good morning. Oh, that's fascinating. I wonder what I'll get. 
I do too, actually. What if you got Emrakul like a sly dog? It would make me real sad. That's kind of our whole plan. <laughs> Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We could play Xenagos here and make Let's a blocker. Ancient Tomb. Yeah, we can hear Zorgan do here. Ancient Tomb. Let's play the dragon. Create a little blocky boy. One, five, six, seven, nine. We have 11 mana. Okay, that's good. That's a good one. It's a lot of cards. It is a lot of cards. I think I'm almost going to let Xenagos take the hit. Can we cast both of these? I think we can. Yes. So we can actually just draw five here. Seems Six, good. seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So, yikes! I don't really want to lose the Garrick though. Is the thing? Then don't. So, one, two, three, four, five. Um, we could just add two and not. I think we're just making a beast, right? I'm really hoping they don't have like a wrath, but then we still have two planeswalkers on board, so. I think we can get in there. I agree with you. Good morning, good morning. Feliz Navidad. It's a good song. They came back on their lands. That guy I don't care about at all. We're going to draw five here and then just play whatever the hell we have. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, four. We can actually just hard cast an Emrakul here if we hit one. Seems decent. We did not hit one. Which is pretty insane, actually. Because now I feel like we're in bad shape. You can block and pump, right? Yes. This also threatens to kill them. Yeah, this is a pretty good overrun board as well, so. Oh, we could have attacked too to just get rid of the Doom Whisper. Yeah, I like that too. Oh yeah, that would make sense. Yeah, that would have been sick. That. I forgot about the pump. Until he mentioned it, but after that it was too late. I'm 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 assuming Gonti actually did take the Emrakul. That's my guess. That's unfortunate. Treachery is a good card. I agree. That's sad. Do we need Rex Ages or stuff like that? No, not really. We didn't. We, we boarded them out because we didn't really see them in the. We still have Vivian Reed.
It's going to be a basalt monolith. Oh, a lava coil. This is actually a, sh a lot of damage. So they block here, they take 30, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, they go to 1. Yep, seems good. But then they get to swing back with this guy. You can only kill one permanent at a time, right? No, you destroy all uh, non-land permanents with convert mana cost X. Oh, that's sad. You're just going to kill our Yeah, it's really good. Wait, whose controller was dealt damage by it? So they, if they attack one of their planeswalkers, they actually can't use the ability. Oh, I guess they just have, like, Settle the Record. No, they can't have Settle. Sure. Took it all. Interesting. I don't know why they didn't block one. Oh. Go to two here. Wow. That seems pretty greedy, sis. Well, they can't blow up both walkers. They can only activate the ability once a turn. Yeah, if we actually just saw the line where they, we attack into this guy, um, I think the game would have been significantly over. Looks like they're going for it. Oh, we did not actually take the... Oh, that's good. They didn't pump. Oh, we wouldn't have been dead anyway, actually. Huh. Did we gain life? We're at 16, right? Tooth and nail is what they hit. Wow. That's pretty good. Oh, so they're that... playing it for seven? Yeah, they're just putting two creatures from their hand, which is Lillian and Pack Rat. Are they just dead? Aren't they dead? Yeah, they're too. We just tackled everything. Well, they activate. They didn't activate that. No, they didn't. They're just dead. What even just happened? I don't know. Oh, get a land. So. What even? I'm confused. I mean, they're tapped out. There's nothing to do. They have zero cards in hand. They could have just clicked this for zero, though, and killed all our tokens, though. What in the earth? How did they... Did they just not know what this card did? So let's make sure we know what it does. It does... Destroy each non-land permanent with converted mana cost to X. So they could just pay zero for X. Whose controller was dealt combat damage by Steel Hellkite this turn. Yeah, they could have done it for zero and sell all our tokens. Wouldn't they still be dead, though, if they did that? No, because then they just have two blockers. We make one more. I think they actually still would have been dead, though. Because they kill all our blockers. They make two blockers. We get one with haste. And we make a... So we attack with two guys. Now they have two blockers. Yeah, they would have lived. And this is lifelink. Oh, true. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. Yeah, they definitely messed that up. All right, one more round. And then we get to eat food. We're not gonna take it. <laughs> That's pretty good. You're right. Mm, two lands, bunch of four drops and five drops. I ain't about it. I'm about it. 
No, I'm going to bottom. Really? I, I felt bad about it as soon as I did it. Yeah, I don't think you should. I think you should have kept that. Joke's on you. Here's another five minute planeswalker. Oh, that's better. We'll it's only see. better if we hit the other half. <laughs> we'll see. We will see. The hell is that thing? Sacrifice it, exile all cards from target player's graveyard. It's a 2 1 flyer for 2. It is literally useless against us. I still think you're missing a chance to complain about not throwing emeralds. I agree with you. There's a lot of complaint equity I could be I could be taking here. I really don't have the hero blade hold next turn. I would vomit in your mouth. Please don't. You don't get a choice. Clearly. You don't get a say in the matter, Michael. Although if we draw an emerald call, the game's just over. <laughs> and I've been vomiting a lot recently. How was that, by the way? Was it a good time? No, dude. Hmm. Vomiting is so much worse than like. Um, it, it hurt. It hurts so much afterwards too. It doesn't. It like your whole body is like. It's really weird. Like your whole body is like just re revolting against you. It's such a weird feeling. Oh, dang. So what? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I think this is, means we're dead. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna go to the next game. It only took three cards to kill us. Bring in that lava coil, boy. Take out the mind slaver. Star of Extinction is probably pretty good here, actually. It kills all our planeswalkers and our creatures, too, though. Does it kill planeswalkers? Yeah. 20 of each creature and each planeswalker. Yeah, I, like I feel like we deal with the creatures. That's all that matters. I don't think it's all that matters. Oh, oh, oh. Think about it. Okay. Good job. What'd you take out? I don't know, man. A wikabah. I was like at the wikabah. Yeah, I didn't see any equipment. I killed history, though. That's why I brought in Thrashing Bronto. Okay. 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 Buskies, me. No one's buskusing you. I'll keep it. Are we going to lose this round? We might. We might not. Hopefully he doesn't have one drop. Or a two drop or a three drop. Those are my hopes. Okay. Hopefully we just uh, top deck the, through the reach again. My dude. I didn't have one drop. We're getting there. Did you try to keep your gases on your side of the field? No, there's no field, and my gases go wherever they want. I can't control my own gases. They did have one drop, just a little on the wrong Ooh, but they missed the third land drop. No, they didn't. No. Okay. Okay. No, we ain't gonna take it. Well, at least your start's way slower. Your start's way slower. Is it? Don't play history here. Yeah. That's still pretty good. Is it though? Oh, they didn't soul bond. I kind of like that. I kind of just want to do that. Oh, actually, what if we play Nissa and then plus her and then harmonize? Yeah, that seems much better than not doing that. Yeah, but they're gonna just gonna kill the Nissa is the problem. Yeah, but all we need is time. We could also just play Brontodon as a blocker. I kind of like that better. Because it lets us block this guy and kill it, and then we get to keep Nissa alive next turn, which lets us cast Kozilek. Yeah, that actually makes sense. Yeah, I like that better. And we have the sack outlet just in case something happens. And just kill a clue if they, like, you know, do the deed. 
But also, if they try to kill this, then they, they're not going to have another creature to soul bond, so this survives at one. Yep, that's what we were afraid of. Yikes. That is a uh, yikes for me, dog. I mean, that's fine. We have Kozilek here. Which lets us draw four. Yeah, 100% blocking this idiot. Through the breach. You are not through the breach. Don't use the red. What? Why? Just through the reach. Oh, you're just casting. Okay, never mind. How else would you have done this? Oh, you, you thought we were harmonizing. Yeah, I thought we were harmonizing, try to get through. No, I'm just going to cast the Kazi like my dude. I'm just going to cast Uncle Kazi. I'm just going to path it and we're going to die. That's going to be sad, yeah. Or Oblivion Ring or any of those other things. But if they don't, my dude. They, they did. They're playing Mono White. Yeah, of course. On the right side, if we manage to get rid of this... We can still so attack. we take 9, go to 10? Uh, they're probably going to kill this Nissa. So we're going to go to 15, I imagine. Maybe they'll stack it wrong? They did not. Dang it. We can go track her... We brought the Wicker Bell Elder. No, we brought Thrashing Brothathon, which is already dead, and that's unfortunate. We dropped Vivian Reed. Vivian Reed through the breach. All these are good draws. That's a master. That's not terrible. 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11, 12. Not really that close. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So we're not dead. Through the reach isn't really even an out yet anymore because they'll just sack their tokens. Five, six, seven. We can go tireless tracker, land, master of the wild hunt. Seems decent. That does this as double block the hero, which is nice. One for every tentacle on Emrakul. Dr. Jetpuff, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. So six, seven. We have eight lands next turn. I'm actually fine with double blocking hero of Blade Hold if that's their play. I don't think there's that many tricks here that can actually stop this. There's not a lot of tricks in the cube. I mean, if they have sword or path, it sucks, but... I think it's probably better to get that hero blade hole off the board. And... That's pretty good. Okay. Oh, boy. Yep, we really have nothing here that's going to get us out of this mess. Yep, all right. Well, 2-1, not bad. What can you do? Of course, Avacyn, the 4-4 flyer is their trick, and can't really beat that. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Check me out at manatraders.com. You can find the link and the promo code in the description. It will get you 20% off the first three months of any subscription. Uh, you can also check out coolstuff.com, coolstuffinc.com, and uh, you'll get 5% off with Frank5, the promo code Frank5. And you can also check out meundies.com slash franklabor, and you'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. And be sure to check me out on Twitch or Patreon or any of the, all the, all those links and information is in the description below, so you can check that out there. And thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time.